This brown belt, this gray shirt that says stay positive, and this little jacket with this choker I got from Forever 21 yesterday. I don't like the way the screen looks. Hold on. I don't know why my um, f-stop keep coming lower or something. I don't know. But that's my outfit. So I have on this pink thing, this gray shirt that says stay positive. I normally wear it as a dress, but I just have it on as a shirt with these high waist jeans with this brown belt, and I have on my black boots. So this one I'm wearing today. I had on a little black dress, but I was like, that shit looked like church. And I was like, I look like church. Yeah, I don't wanna wear that. So I'm about to go see my friend Winford. Um, I haven't seen him in like a year. That was my, that's my dog though. So I'm going to see him. We probably gonna go get some slushies. I want some churches. I want some okra from churches and uh, um, I want some okra from churches and I want something else I want. I don't remember what it was. Oh, some popper, jalapeno poppers. And I just want a slushy. That's what I want right now. So that's what I'm going to get. Today it is cold as fuck in Detroit, as always. I'm like, dog, I can't wait till it get cool. Hold on. My house. Um, yeah, I just got to my house. I forgot my damn watch. I had some Hennessy I need to put in my purse. I don't got that. I'm just... As I was driving, I'm like, damn, I don't got my watch on. I feel naked without my watch. Even though it is silver, I still feel naked without it on. I don't know where the hell went for that. I don't know, y'all. My whole point of this trip to come here was to talk to somebody, to have a talk with someone um, that I used to talk to. And then yesterday we had that talk, and I felt like I have so much closure, and like I can just move on with like knowing that we kind of on the same page with things. I don't know. You know how sometimes I never experienced this before, but this is my first time ever experiencing this. But some shit you just have to say in person to a motherfucker, or some stuff you just have to ask in person. Like you can't really be like, "Oh, we're gonna talk over the phone or whatever," because talking on the phone is totally different. And I needed to hear what I'd had to hear in person. And yeah, I just have a lot of closure now, and I can just go back to Georgia and just. I don't know. Not to say this shit gonna be easy. Where's this nigga? Hey, he told me he coming. It's cold as fuck outside. Damn. But, um, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you just need that closure. And I never understood what closure really was. But sometimes you just have to close one door to move on to the next one. I don't want to leave any doors open. Like, I don't want to have any regrets. I want to know that whatever choice that they decided to make in their life was the, good, the best choice for them. Or the best choice that they saw fit. And I want to move on with my life. If that makes sense. So... This nigga act like he's staying in the whole mansion. Like, why? What's taking you so long to come to the door? You talking about coming? I'm so impatient. Yeah, so I'm here with Winford. Winford, I had to ask him if he wanted to be on the vlog. He's acting a lot like shy. Like, he don't want to be on there. I don't know why. But hold on. Say hey, Winford, to my subscribers. Hello, subscribers. <laughs> this is my friend, Winford. He's been my friend for a long time. Like, a lot of years. A I mean, long time. Like five years or something like that. But we about to go get some slushies and this little pita cafe. Where we going? We going to Ogles to get Ogles. We going to Ogles to get some little snackers. That's what we about to do. And chill and catch up. Slurpees, not slushies. And talk. Slurpees Why do you say Slurpees? Because it's from 7-Eleven. We don't want that Speedway. I like Speedway slushies. No, no. We like 7-Eleven Slurpees. Why? <laughs> I don't never like those. Fine. You want Speedway? Yeah, we going to Speedway now. Okay. So y'all, my new infatuation are edibles. I had an edible yesterday. I had to tell y'all my experience with it. I'm probably gonna make a story time. I'll make a story time about it. But right now I'm eating some snackers from Olga's. They like, it's like pita bread with like this special sauce stuff on there. And it comes with this like Swiss almond cheese. This shit is so good. And then I got me a Coke slushie from 7-Eleven. I only drink slushies, Coke slushies. And this one has a, like a little rock and rye fago in there. It's just so good. It's so good. 
I feel like I'm glowing. Like, I'm looking like a snack. I'm looking like a Christmas gift. You see this damn choker? It's fine. Ooh. Alright y'all, so I'm with my best friend and my godson Sean. Well he looking creepy. <laughs> but um I'm about to go go ahead and look at this house. It's snowing here, y'all. I gotta give me a good picture in the snow. You gotta get a picture in the snow? Yeah, I gotta get a good picture in the snow. Y'all can't even really see me, but yeah, so I can it's snowing bad. I got it from my friend's house to over here because I was hungry. I was like, let me get me some Coney Island. I got like Coney Island breakfast. I got bacon, eggs, toast. Yeah, that's what I got. So now I'm at, um, we're about to go to the east side. She got a truck though, so she kind of can, you know, hold it because it's a truck. But yeah. Yay, yay, yay. Took you that long to get the key? She had one to that way. She was at that door. You good? <laughs> Bro, go ahead and blow up. Man, cut close the up. It's cold. Ride with my best friend on the east side. All right, y'all. So I'm about to give me some Asian corned beef. I'm sleepy. I've been riding around with my friend all day long. Well, not all day long. We just went one place. <laughs> it's double day. Tired. tired, though. I can't really. When I'm about to give me some Asian corned beef, some egg rolls. That's what I'm about to get and it's still snowing. And I still gotta go to my sister's house because I had this outfit on yesterday, but I don't even care. All right, y'all got my crummy bed rolls. I can't even focus with this snow. It's just cold. Y'all, this motherfucking thing is so good. I need me a slush, that's it. I'll be done for the day. It's so good. I told y'all I thought I didn't like them, but I do. So, this is my last, supposed to be my last day in um in Michigan, but I don't think it's going to be. So, I think I'm just going to leave on Friday instead of today. Yeah, it's cold. I'm about to go meet my friend at Starters. I'm about to go meet Charnel. Y'all seen Charnel in the other vlog. I seen her like the second day I was here. I need some lotion for my hands. They ashy. Um... I'm about to go meet her. I was supposed to go to her job to get my charger. Cause I left my charger at her house. Hold on. I was supposed to get my charger, went well, to her job, but they had to evacuate her job because of some shit. Some shit blew up, she said, or something. So, um, now we're just gonna go to lunch and then I'm going to see Brittany, my friend Brittany. I'm going to see her and uh, we're gonna go to Erotic City probably for happy hour, she said, or something at four o'clock. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just chilling, going to see my friends and stuff. Um, I my sole purpose for coming here was to talk to have a talk with somebody. I had that talk and I feel fulfilled because of it, you know. So, um, I'll tell tell y'all more about that later. But I'm about to start driving, so I'll talk to y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So, bitch, you just mad? Hold on one second. All right, so I made it here with um, Charnel. She didn't want to be on camera. She got acting weird. Hey y'all. I was like, this I'm going with Charnel, the person I was with the other day. Was she was, my camera on 1%, so I have to show y'all my food and stuff on my phone. But I'm here, I made it here. And I'm hungry as hell. She made it. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Alright, this is my food y'all. So I got some steak, like bites with onions and mushrooms and the potatoes, corn. Oh, and I had a side salad, but it wasn't all that. But it was all oh yeah, and we had some bread too, that was good as hell. This food just good. Okay. Annoying. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we at Erotic City right now. I'm with Ashley. Hi. I'm on the. I'm on the. Um, Don't we look like twins? I'm on the. <laughs> what am I on? I'm on the uh, phone. I'm on my phone because I don't have my, my camera is lit. They go, Brittany. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> they better get them some food. I already ate. I ate at starters with Charnel, so. Oh, it is. You got a bathroom, don't you? That bathroom was like all stuffed up, man. Fucked up. That's what happened when you come on the east side. That's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened when you come on the east side. On the east side. That is right. Hey, y'all. Good morning. So I'm supposed to be on the road to go 
back to Georgia, but I'm not. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just not ready to go back. I don't know, I'm not ready to go back. Um, right now I'm about to go. I went to go take my car because it's making a lot of noise. Well, it was making a lot of noise. It may be due to the snow, but I didn't want to chance it. So I was like, I'm going to take my car to go get looked at. I'm taking it tomorrow, actually. I set an appointment for 8.30 tomorrow. And my friend, she's going to come get me. And um, during that time, while they're watching my, while they, while they looking at my car, because he said it's going to take a few hours. So I'm like, okay, I didn't want to leave it today. Because I was like coming from somebody's house, had the same clothes on. I was like, I really just want to be at home, go home, take a shower. So... Yeah, I'm happy that I'm still in Detroit, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm happy I'm still here. So, today, what I'm doing? Yesterday, I had fun. I went to the strip club. I went to this other bar called Encore. Today, I'm um, not doing anything. I'm about to go take my friend some lunch. I'm going to take him some lunch. And then, um, what else? I'm going to my best friend's house for a minute. All right, that's really about it. So I'm about to really get ready to get out of here. Y'all, it's cold here. It's like 13 degrees here. And yeah, it's not looking good. Hold on. All right, so it's like 13 degrees here. So I had to come home and layer up. I had I got on these jeans that, I mean, these pants that I had on the other day. Because they're like my thickest pants. They're like my little army fatigue pants. But they're man pants, so they're really thick. And then I have on, um, what else I got on? I have on... Um, a sweater hold on I have on a sweater and then I have, I have on actually uh, I have on a sweater on top of that and then I have on another sweater on top of that and then I got on my coat and the scarf because it's cold as fuck outside yesterday I had my titties all out I was like I'm gonna have them on you Leo come on come on Leo Leo come here you guys put the dog back in the room. Come on, Leo. It's 18 degrees, y'all. Look. On my dashboard, it say 18 right there. Y'all can't really see it. Look how I look outside. Oh, it was like 13 this morning. I got up early. I got up like six, seven. I got up like seven o'clock. It was like 13 degrees. Too damn cold for me. Too damn cold for me. All right, y'all. So it's like early as hell, and it's like my—I don't know what day it is, but here in Detroit, I think it's like my fifth day. But my check engine light came on yesterday, so I'm at the like this auto repair place by my friend's house, and she's about to come get me. He has to look at my car. Hopefully, I can get it fixed. So I can come home on either. I don't know Saturday or Sunday, but I might not be able to. And then let let Nader know when they come to get it. Uh, I really don't know. I think it's the And the check engine light is on, and um, the check engine light is on, and my car is riding weird. Like just the tires itself, I think something wrong with them in general. I just feel like it is. So yeah, I don't know. But he says it's gonna be a few hours, so I'm gonna have um. My best friend can pick me up. You know, I and I want some coffee. I think I'm going to get some Tim Hortons. Yeah, so I feel confident this man's going to be able to fix my car. He's like, how did you hear about me? Well, how did you hear about us? And um, I'll tell y'all the name of the place. Well, it's called Redford Auto Repair. It's on 7 Mile um, in Redford. And I found him on, on Google. And he said that if I was going to be here with my car, he would walk me back and show me everything that's going on with it. And they do a free diagnostic test. And also, um, he saves all the parts. Like, if he takes something out, he saves it so that you can see it. So, that's really, really good. So, I'm putting my trust in them. Because, you know, sometimes with your car, it's, like, a really big deal. Like, you don't want to have anything go wrong or... I don't know. Like, your car is, like, every fucking thing. And then you take it somewhere and they fix it and they fuck it up. And you just, like, what the hell? So... Hopefully it's nothing too serious because I don't want to pay all this damn money to get this car fixed. Hopefully it really is just I need a tune-up. I don't know. I'm getting kind of stressed out about it though because I'm kind of like, I'm kind of ready to go back to Georgia now. 
and it's kind of like what are my options in all honesty if my car is really fucked up to the point where they're like oh you need this 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 and that and this this and that like what i'm gonna do i'm just thankful it got me here because if it wouldn't have got me here and i would have like cut off on the road or my check engine light would have came out on the road i would have been freaking out and that was like my worst fear but i was like i want to come up here so I decided to come, so I mean, now I gotta deal with it. It just is what it is. Shit, I've been a fuck around and found a job up here and be up here for the time being. I do miss Georgia though, I don't know. I miss, I wanna go home to my bed. I want to, I just done did everything. Like I went out to eat, I ate everywhere I wanted to eat. Um, I just been chilling and I just feel like I don't know, y'all. Low-key, I'm really just in my feelings because I told y'all I had that talk with that guy or whatever, and he was like, he's getting married and all this. And yesterday, like, he didn't call me or nothing, and I'm here in Detroit, so it's kind of harder for me to cope, if that makes sense. It's kind of like, damn, this nigga really done moved on with his life, and it's... I don't know. I don't think it's fucked up that he moved on with his life. I'm happy that he did, but it's like... I don't know. I just get in my moments where I'm just like, damn... Like, you got a family, you really just moved on with your life. It's just, I never thought I'd see the day, or I never thought I'd see the day where we didn't have a connection the way we used to, or nothing. I don't know, it just fucks with me. But I'll be okay eventually. Time heals everything, right? My face always looks so swollen in the morning. I'm so damn, face is just fat. I don't know. I think I'm about to get me some coffee from Tim Hortons. If you're like up north, if you know what Tim Hortons is, I think I like Tim Hortons coffee better than um, Starbucks coffee, in all honesty. Starbucks coffee is good because it's strong, it's stronger, but Tim Hortons coffee is just, ooh, so good. I want some. My friend, she about to take all day to come get me. I already can feel it. I think I'm just about to sit at her house. I really don't have shit to do. Like, I can't go to to my sister's house. Um, I stayed out all night, so I'm had these same damn clothes on because I had to bring my car early in the morning. If I would, and my check engine light didn't come on until I was already, like, almost to Detroit. So I couldn't even go back to the east side to get, like, my clothes and all that. To get, like, a, a pack, pack a bag or anything. So, I don't know. It's funny how your intuition will talk to you because I was going to leave like half of my money at at the house. And someone was like, what if something happened to your car? What if you need it? And I just put it in my purse because I was going to leave like 150 at home. So I can always have some money. And when I'm ready to go home, I could just have this little extra money. But I had to bring all my money with me because I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck might pop up or what this man might say about my car. I don't know, I feel like my car is, I have a 2012, it's a four years old, well, five years old now. And I don't know if it's time for another car. I just want something that has longevity that I can keep for a while. And my car note is not high. That's all, just something with longevity.